Rory dropped out of Yale. What? She dropped out of Yale and she moved in with my parents who I went to for help and they stabbed me in the back. Everything we worked for all these years, her whole future. She was supposed to have more than me. She was supposed to have everything. That was the plan. We had a plan. Okay, I'm sorry, I have to jump in here. Uh, I know you think you have this thing handled, but I can help. First off, we call Yale, and we tell them something like, uh, Rory had a chemical imbalance and she was medically out of her mind when she told them she was dropping out. And then we get her out of your parents' house, whatever way we can, we lock her up in her room with you, because you can talk her into this. You can talk anybody into anything. And then if worse comes to worse, we will drive her to school every day, and we will follow her to class and camp out there to make sure she goes. I'll take morning classes, you take afternoon classes, or the other way around if it works out better for your schedule. And I know there's a few kinks to work out, and the kidnapping thing might be a little problematic, but either way, she is not quitting school. This was her dream. I am not gonna let this happen. What? Luke, will you marry me? What? What? Luke, will you? Yes. Well, you don't have to answer, so. Yes. We can take a minute to. No. So, what now? I don't know. This is new for me. Well, we should do something official. Official? Yeah. Something to commemorate the moment. I mean, we're getting married, Luke. Married. You and me. <laughs> Luke, table for one Danes and Lorelei. I'm sorry, can I get an industrial forklift for my emotional baggage Gilmore? Getting married. He's gonna marry me. Operation, Mr. Donovan. Oh, and of course your help reattaching my lower extremities. <laughs> My pleasure. Now, you want to tell me what you're bringing me in for? Her. Jill? What are you doing? I'm going with what I feel. I got you something. Did you now? <laughs> and I suppose you want me to try this on for you. Something like that. There was a time when I wanted this so much. But I was afraid I'd mess it up. I made the wrong choice. I don't want to miss out on us again. So, what do you say? Will you make an honest woman out of me? In any timeline. I love you, Joe. I love you. He's gonna marry me. Can I say something? Okay. So just take a sec. Fine. What? Three days ago, I loathed you. I used to dream about you getting hit by a cab or poisoned. Oh, that's, that's nice. That's yeah, nice. I told you to stop talking. And we had our little adventure up in Alaska, and things started to change. Things changed when we kissed. 
When you told me about your tattoo. Even when you checked me out when we were naked. Uh, naked? <laughs> well, I didn't see anything. Yeah, you did. But I didn't realize any of this until I was standing alone in a barn, wifeless. Now, you can imagine my disappointment when it suddenly dawned on me that the woman I love is about to be kicked out of the country. So, Margaret, marry me. Because I'd like to date you. reason why I've been alone all this time. I'm comfortable that way. And I think it would just be a lot easier if we forgot everything that happened and I just left. You're right. That would be easier. You know, if somebody had asked me three days ago who the one person in the world I admired most was, I'd have said you. But without really knowing what that meant, without understanding that the hardest thing about being you is all the things you can't do, all the cries for help that you can't answer, and how that quietly tears you apart. But it never stops you. And after living a little of that myself, I realized something. Something that I never thought was possible. What? I love you more. More than I ever have. And more than I ever thought I could love anyone. So, I want to ask, <sighs> will you marry me? Who's asking? Lois? Or Ultra Woman? <laughs> Who's answering? Superman. I'm answering. I'm waiting.